Hey there LEGO fans, it's Active Jason, and today we're going to take a look at my custom LEGO cargo ship. I came up with this build when I was working on my LEGO harbor area. I am a fan of the blue LEGO City Lines cargo ship from the set 7994 from 2007, but unfortunately I don't have that set so I had to make my own. I ended up using the only LEGO bolt hole that would work for this, which is the orange Coast Guard ship from 7739, Coast Guard Patrol Boat and Tower from 2008. Here we can see the ship sitting port side behind some of the equipment in the cargo yard. Let's go ahead and zoom into the front of the boat and we'll show you all the details. This ship includes three main sections as well as the cargo container area, the captain's quarters, and the below deck quarters for the crew. Before we go in and take a closer look at all the ship's details, I'd just like to point out this minifigure. He's special because he's actually my oldest minifigure in my collection. He appeared in 1980 in only one set, set 6363 Auto Repair Shop. I think he's a really cool figure, although simple, and I'm really happy to have one. It's actually over 40 years old now, which is kind of crazy to think about. Then going ahead and taking a look at the bow of the ship, we see a crew member up front, as well as you might notice this anchor axle on a 2x2 turntable base plate. The anchor is a bit small for this ship but it's the only one I have and I think it works alright. You can see here the crew member is standing under an umbrella to protect him from some of the harsh weather conditions out at sea. Moving back we see we have a pretty large space for cargo. This can currently fit at least six containers, possibly more. The containers are all equal size with a six by eight by five build. Currently you can see I have four as well as some extra crates in here. These are actually a bit shorter than the official Lego containers as my ship is not as wide as the Blue City Lines cargo carrier. Each of these containers is practically identical in build and so far I've built a light bluish gray, brown, green, and tan version. I'll go ahead and remove the containers just so you can get a better view at one as well as a better view at the front of the cabin. Just before removing the cargo containers you'll notice a couple of pieces on the side for some detail as well as a couple life preserver vests and these two control arms which help to hold the cargo containers in place and as well they host a couple light for helping to light up the dark sky on their voyage. These arms are easy to fold out and simply sit on a lego handle piece then we can easily remove the cargo container on top as well as fold out these two arms on the brown container and remove the separate pallet of different crates and boxes. Now that those two top levels are removed, we should be able to get out the three bottom containers. They are fitting a little bit snugly as they are sitting perfectly in place, although they are just sitting on top of tiles, they are not actually connected down. Let's go ahead and start by trying to remove this center green container and it slides out nicely. Then we can pull out the tan and brown. Here's a close-up view of all four cargo containers and crates. You'll notice they each are mostly identical, although there are some slight differences. The main features are two plates and two jumper plates on each side, as well as four two by two plates on the bottom so that each cargo container can stack nicely on top of one another, but also so each cargo container can be easily moved or rearranged. The dimensions of these cargo containers being six by eight by five are convenient to fit in the ship, but also make it very convenient to fit on any six wide lego vehicles in the city here's a view of the cargo containers stacked on top of each other as well as the additional crates and containers out front here's a better view of the front of the boat and you can see the arms with the lights on them as well as the crew member from this angle if we go back you can see the area where the storage containers sit and it's pretty simple there's just a few tiles down there to allow the storage containers to sit and be removed very easily you can also see the very bottom of the cabin and up above you might notice the captain's quarters with the main windows where the control section is to steer and direct the ship. I'm pretty happy with how the design turned out. I'm not sure how realistic to true cargo ships this build is but I think the cabin looks pretty cool and I'll go ahead and show you guys some more of those details including the equipment on top as well as the interior. First of all you might notice the captain minifigure on the side there with his megaphone. He's in all blue with the shoulder pads as opposed to the crew which is mainly wearing orange uniforms. Up above him we can see some of the ship's communications equipment as well as some antennas and radar dishes. Just some random little builds that I think look pretty good and actually add a lot of detail onto the main cabin. On the left you'll notice a antenna with a radar dish and on the right there's actually a working propeller or a barometer and a propeller to indicate the wind speed. The red dot on top is most likely a beacon for communications and relay. I can't say I really had any main inspirations for building this cabin. I kind of just built it freehand and designed it as I went but I think it turned out pretty good. I chose to stick with mainly yellow bricks for the deck and white for the cabin, partly because those are the bricks I had available, but I do think those colors actually contrast nicely. 
Here's a view from the stern or back side of the ship. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Under this arch, you can actually see the drop-in door that leads into the cabin's quarters. And below that, this is actually the propeller as well as underneath is the cruise quarters, which I'll show you in more detail as soon as I take the roof off. You can see this main propeller build, which actually does fold down just on a hinge brick. There are a couple different propellers on there and the whole piece does come down just like this pretty easily. I'm pretty happy with how this propeller looks and I think it's pretty cool. Although I wish I did have a couple more larger propellers to add on. In addition to that, we do have a couple rear lights with some binoculars for some extra detail. And right over here, you can see there is an exhaust pipe. We'll go ahead and open that back door to the captain's quarters. It's pretty easy. All I have to do is push this handle and the hinge door opens up. As well as behind that, you can see there are four of these simple car door pieces which open up to reveal the main seat of the captain's area or piloting area of the ship. That seat with the crew member is actually on another turntable plate and behind him is the control panel, which we can get a better view at by taking the roof and equipment off. I've tried to design the roof as a fairly modular piece as well. So we can just remove this entire equipment panel on one four x four plate. And as well, you can get a little view down there. It's a little too dark, but I can also remove this large six by six piece to get a nice square view into the control room. I'll get some light in there, but you can sort of see behind the crew member, there is a control panel with several different buttons, a steering wheel, and different levers for controlling the ship and navigation. I tried to pay a lot of attention to angles on this build to ensure that the whole ship wasn't too blocky or like a giant brick, so I added some nice wing triangular elements right there. I think you can see fairly well though there's some different printed decals in there and I think the control room is looking pretty good. Also pretty spacious, you can fit one in the chair and another minifigure or two behind him as well. Here's a bit of a better view of that 6x6 sloped roof panel with all the different pieces of communication equipment. I think it looks pretty good and I'm really happy with how it came out as well as how easy it is to remove. Let's go ahead and set that to the side and now I'll show you the real modular feature of the roof to reveal the crew quarters underneath the control room. I will just go ahead and lift this off and as you can see I put this on one large set of plates on top of some main tiles and a couple of jumper plates for easy removal as well. It might be a bit challenging to get the camera down in there to show you guys all of the details, but this is the cruise quarters. As you can see, I try to pack as many details as possible down into there. This is really the space where the crew goes down to relax and take a break. As you can see, we have a crew member sitting over here at the table enjoying a coffee, always with his radio though. As you can see, the, tool, the walls are lined with several different tools, including ratchets and repair repair tools as well as some flippers and extra oxygen tanks right there. Plus we have basic sanitary tools like brooms as well as extra binoculars and radios and stuff like that. Over on the right you might see the red fire extinguisher. I'm pretty happy with how this area came out and over in the back there is actually a mini fridge with an opening door which can fit small cans of soda or other food items. Across from the crew quarters you can see that yellow arch again and there's actually an entryway over to the cargo container area that is accessible by the crew quarters in the lower deck. We did have pretty limited room in here and I was hoping to get a couple cots or maybe bunk beds in for the crew to sleep in. Although if I do revise this build I might include a third level if possible in between the crew quarters and the captain's cabin. I am pretty happy with how this area came out though and I think it's pretty cool. I really enjoy the modular feature as well as the different levels and all the extra details in here. This area can actually fit several minifigures and I might add some more chairs or just maybe some standing around in the future as well. Here's a better look at the inside with our crew member and again his orange jumpsuit indicates he is a working man on the ship. Not to be confused with a construction worker or aquaman or any other orange jumpsuit wearing criminals or other similar attire in the Lego city. Although there is a large variety present, it might be easy to confuse. And here's one of our hardworking crewmen on the ship. His orange jumpsuit indicates he is a deckhand, not to be confused with a construction worker, a felon, or aquaman. You know he's cool as well because he's wearing his sunglasses even inside. So that mostly does it for the interior. The really nice thing about this, like I had pointed out before, is once we want to add on the extra deck level again, all we have to do is raise up the propeller to dock. We can go ahead and pick up the main section of the cabin, simply line it up and place it back down onto those tiles and the plates that line up and it snaps on super easily. Then we'll go ahead and grab the equipment panel and boom, sorry for that light in the way, 
pop it right back on on those few studs and we are back together. We'll also go ahead and reclose these doors for the captain or pilot's privacy. Those four and this one panel as well. Then when we're ready to go back out to sea, we can lower the propeller from the control room and boom, we are ready to set sail. So I do hope you guys really like this uh, cargo ship build. I'll go ahead and put the container ships back so you can see them in all its glory. And I'll just go ahead and put those cargo containers back in one more time. Show you guys how easy it is to place them in in whatever order we like. As long as they're slid all the way back, it is a bit of a snug fit, but I think we'll have no problem fitting them in just fine. We'll go ahead and put the green, the tan, and then the light gray here. And we'll follow up with the brown in the back this time. And whoops, as well as our last two little crates. And again, I probably will add on a couple more, or at least one more cargo container in the new future when I get some more bricks at least. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching my Lego cargo ship mock. I hope you guys enjoy the build and if you have any suggestions for how to improve it or what you would do differently, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to build many more mocks in the future as well as make more brick films and reviews or commentaries. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. 2006 classic Batmans in light bluish gray, in black as well as in dark bluish gray from the...